curry, pasta, shrimps in three minutes. Let's go! Other than cleaning our shrimps and cutting some garlic, there is no preparation necessary. So the whole dish can be done while the pasta is boiling. Cook your pasta always two minutes shorter than the package tells you to. This way you can finish the pasta and the sauce and it will be perfect al dente. For our recipe we will need one clove of garlic. Cut it as fine as possible. So let's take care about our shrimp. I will show you how to properly clean and peel them. Start by ripping off the first few legs, then grab the shell and carefully peel it off. And the most important part is to make a cut along the back, to remove the not so appetizing part of the shrimp. I like to do this over the sink, under some cold running water, so if you ever get a shrimp which is not cleaned like this, better send it back. Now all you got to do is to pat your shrimps dry and they are ready for a quick marinade. Add some olive oil, salt, freshly ground black pepper and some fresh thyme. Alright, the preparation is done. The pasta in the water. Time to make our curry sauce. Add your minced garlic to a generous amount of olive oil. Carefully here. It takes literally seconds and the garlic burns. So before the garlic turns brown, go in with a cup of heavy cream and bring it back to a boil. As it starts to simmer, add your mixture of curry and turmeric and give it a stir. Season to taste with some salt and freshly ground black pepper. Let it reduce on medium heat and add your dried tomatoes. The timer rings, so the pasta has to jump out. And as we cooked it two minutes short, we can just put it back to a pot, cover it with some olive oil and set it aside for later. Time for the shrimps. Get your pan piping hot and add your shrimps clockwise. You don't need to add any oil, as the shrimps are already marinated. If your pan is not hot enough, you will not get a crispy and juicy shrimp. That's the secret. The shrimps are in and the curry sauce is done and waiting. Leave your shrimps not more than a minute on one side, then start turning. This is for me the only way to cook shrimps. I want a nice sear on the outside and a soft and glossy inside. As soon as you turn them over, switch off the heat and let them sit in the pan. Time to complete our dish. The sauce goes back on the heat and you can add your baby spinach. Combine the sauce with the spinach and bring everything back to temperature. Now all that's left to do is to add your pre-boiled pasta to the curry sauce and combine them carefully. Let's do the plating. Just make sure to put some effort into it. A pasta dish is twice as good when you present it in a nice way. And look at the shrimp. Instead of having them soggy in the pasta sauce, they are the crispy star on top. Let's do the taste test. Mmm, look at this. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yep. It is. Wait for it. Mmm. And another three minute recipe is in the books. This delicious pasta is comforting, perfectly saucy, sweet and spicy. And on top it was so easy to make, so why don't you try it at home, hmm? So feel free to share this recipe with your family members. Don't forget to give me a like, ring the bell, check out my Instagram and my new website and I hope we see us in the next one. Subscribe, please. I messed up.